Rebecca, you going away? I'm going to my parents for the weekend. My sister's picking me up at quarter past nine. When are you getting back? We're having a big family dinner on Sunday evening. It's my father's birthday, so I'm going straight into work on Monday. You sound happy. Do I? Perhaps I'm falling in love. What? Are you serious? Yes, I think so. Who is it? What's he like? Well, he's very good looking and he's got lovely eyes. What does he do? Come on, Julia, who is it? He works for a TV company. Really? Do I know him? In fact, he's probably on TV right now. You're watching the local weekend news on Apex TV. I'm Gary Fenton. It's 9.15. Oh, there's Cindy. Bye, Julia. See you on Monday. Carrie? Well, what do you think? Oh. Well, here I am in North Ashborough on a cool Saturday morning. On Saturday mornings, Charlie and Molly Craddock usually go shopping. But they aren't going shopping today. They're doing something completely different. They're walking around the local park and they're doing it backwards. Molly, why are you walking around the park backwards? We're collecting money for local charities. Is it difficult, Charlie? Not for us, because we practice. We walk around our garden for two hours every day. Backwards? Of course. It's very easy, you know. And it's great fun. Oh. No. Oh. 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 You waiting for someone, Tim? What? Oh, yes. Oh, here she is. Hi. Hi, Julia. Hi, Sean. How are you? Not too bad, I suppose. The police are coming to see us this afternoon. Jason and Carly put soap powder in the neighbour's fish pond yesterday. Well, good luck. We're going into town. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Going out with someone, and he works here. Hmm. Who is it? Carrie. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's she giggling about? It's Julia. You'll never guess, but she's going out with Gary. Nonsense. Julia's got more sense than that. It's true. She told me on Saturday. Oh, well, never mind that. What time am I meeting Frederick today? Oh, he phoned to say that he can't make it. Could you call him on his mobile? He's at the House of Commons. Look out, she's coming. Hello, Julia. Oh, um, hi. hi. Oh, Gary, Gary. Julia, are you doing anything this evening? Yes, I am. I'm going out. Are you going out tomorrow, too? No, I'm not. I'm staying in and watching a video with Rebecca. What about Wednesday? Look, what is this, Gary? What do you want? Oh, come on, Julia. Don't be shy. I know your little secret. Secret? What secret? You know. What do I know? Oh, come on, you know. Don't you? Thanks. How was your weekend at your parents? Don't ask. They argued all the time. And I got the usual lecture. Why don't you get a proper job like Cindy? She's doing so well. What about your weekend? Well... On Saturday morning, I was with Tim in Wrigley Park. People do some funny things. Yes, they do. Well, I can't stay here all day. And then Julia arrived, and she and Tim... Julia? Yeah. It seems they're going out together. I didn't know anything about it. Julia is going out with Tim. But... Rebecca? Rebecca? 
series of yours be about? When you come to the meeting tomorrow, you'll find out. Some of your young fans, boys. Can we have your autographs, please? I'll use my own pen. What's it like to be a star? These kids can recognise real talent. That's right. Well, actually, this is for my grandma. And the next item is Tim's new series. Tim? OK, well, the series will be called People. And it will be about people's lives. Not famous people, but ordinary people. Like nurses, shop assistants, bank managers, housewives. Won't that be a bit ordinary? No, they'll be ordinary people, but with an extraordinary story to tell. How will it work? It'll be very simple. We'll interview someone in the studio about his or her life story. And will you be the interviewer? I'd like Gary to do it. Me? Uh, why? I'd like to direct it. It'll be a chance for both of us to try something new. Gary? I think it's an excellent idea. Very exciting. So, who have we got for the first programme? It's this woman here, Samantha Richmond. She's a waitress. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So what's her story? She got married on her 16th birthday. She and her boyfriend ran away to Gretna Green because her parents didn't approve. Sounds interesting. Are they still married? Yes, they are. They've got five children now. Here's a photo of the family. If you do that again, I'll go back to my desk. OK, OK. I promise I'll behave. Good. Now, there's a lot more about Samantha Richmond. She's a very interesting woman. What time will this woman be here, Julia? It's already 20 past two. I'm sure she'll be here soon. Excuse me. There's a message on my answer phone for Julia from Samantha Richmond. When? Just now? This morning. What? I was out of the office all morning at a meeting. Anyway, she says she's very sorry, but she can't come this afternoon because one of her children is ill. Oh, dear, I hope it's nothing serious. Nothing serious? We haven't got an interview. That's serious, isn't it? I meant the child. Well, if she can't do it, we'll just have to find someone from here. Well, it can't be me, because I'm the interviewer. Uh, how about Frederick? He's in Bangkok. Anyway, it needs to be someone ordinary. Well, you can't be serious. <laughs> What's... <clears throat> Our guest this evening is Sean Casey, a cameraman here at Apex TV. Tell me something about your early life, Sean. Well, I was born in Ireland, but my parents moved to England when I was still a baby, and I grew up in London. We were quite a big family, seven kids. I didn't do very well at school, and I left when I was 16. What did you do after school? I got a job in a furniture factory. Furniture? How interesting. Not really. But in my free time, I played the bass guitar with a band called Nightmare. And we got a few good gigs. So I gave up my job and went on the road with the band. Really? Yeah. We never became famous, but we played with some famous bands. R.E.M., Guns N' Roses, Dire Straits. We had some great times. I remember one night in Las Vegas, I was in a bar with you two. They're great guys. Loads of fun. Well, we were in this bar, and they decided to play one of the Good evening, Sean. We watched you on TV last night. You were very good. Thank you, Ted. Yes, you were great, Sean. I didn't see it. The kids wanted to watch some quiz programme on the other channel. 